Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome or welcome back if you're visiting again to uh, Jimmy's Neighborhood Bees. I'm Jimmy, keeping bees in a regular neighborhood, Central Virginia. You could probably hear the cicadas in the trees, you know. Oh, well. Anyway, it's about 6.20 p.m. on a uh, Friday. We had like a couple of days of rain and, and high winds, things like that. And I couldn't do this a couple of days ago, so I'm gonna do it now. Um, I'm gonna be treating my first round of oxalic acid vaporization. Uh, but before, before I do that and show you how I do it, I'm going to read today's fortune. And uh, let's see here. Today's fortune says, follow your instincts when making decisions. Okay, it's, it's really windy. It's a little windy anyway. But uh, yeah, I, I follow my instincts. When I used to ride motorcycles a lot, sometimes you go to ride that day and you don't feel it. I would come right back home and say, you know what? I'm not feeling the ride today. And uh, a couple of times I did that and a couple of times I, the next, next thing I know, my friends that I was gonna ride with, one of them had an accident or, you know, who knows? So uh, yeah, follow your instincts. Usually they're good instincts. Anyway, I'll be treating oxalic acid vaporization. It's, it's uh, August um, 9th, 2024. Uh, this will be my first round. I should have did it a week ago. However, like I said, we had weather issues. So this is what I use. It's not sponsored, but it's the, uh, I use the corded one because again, my hives are right back here. So I don't need the, the battery operated one with the expense. Also, this one I purchased as a refurbished unit a couple of years ago. Still works fine, I still use it. I'm gonna show you everything from cold. I mean, it's, it's, it's ice cold and never, I haven't plugged it in today. I have um, my canisters, which are the proper canisters. They're the pink ones. Um, take care of your lungs, this stuff is no joke. I also have chemical goggles. These are non, there's no air in there. That it's chemically sealed, so protect your eyes. A uh, pair of little gloves. I'm gonna be doing three hives. So I have three cups that I will pre uh, fill them up and have them ready to go. Um, and my oxalic acid, I wrote on here ox acid i keep it in this lock and lock container the brand it's not sponsored it's just what i use uh it's airtight watertight uh keeps the oxalic acid fresh i have the original packaging in the storeroom however i keep it in here and i labeled the top everything else i keep in my other lock and lock here as far as the cups the, the, the goggles, the whole shebang. So, what I will do is go ahead and plug this in. I have a 100 foot extension cord so I can plainly reach the back of uh, the beehives. Plug it in, turn it on. And that's all I gotta do for that.
Okay. Um, all in all, that's my first um, uh, round. I do four. Uh, so I'm gonna do four rounds um, of oxalic acid vaporization. I do that every five days. So today's a Friday. Um, so next Wednesday I'll do it again and then so on and so forth until my four rounds or maybe five are complete. Um, so I'm gonna let this cool before I put it in the storeroom. I'm, um, I'm standing upwind from it so the wind is blowing that way so that I don't have my PPE on. So uh, yeah, I didn't really need the suit but I always wear it whenever I'm doing something like that uh, because it'll just, I didn't need the suit because of the way I got it set up. I've got those quarter 20 screw things in the back of the holes. So they're in the back of the hives. So all I do is pull my uh, screw out. I use a, uh, like a pointy paintbrush. I should use something metal just to make sure the hole is clear. Um, I also use that in the tip of the, the vaporizer between rounds just to make sure the tip is clear. Um, and yeah, I just put it in and within a minute it's done. Now you might notice also, I don't do any kind of uh, blockage of the entrance because I use the hive gates. And that's another benefit that I found from the hive gate. It's not sponsored, it's just what I use. But with the vaporization, going all through the hive, there's no direct path to the exit. It has to, it would have to go down and through the hive gate to get out. Uh, and that's not the, the, the more likely path, in other words. So I really found that I don't have to close up the entrance for, for 10 or 15 minutes uh, while the bees are, you know, while the vapor is going around the hive. So that's just another benefit that I found just by accident. Works for me. When I do it and I look, I don't see any vapor coming out of the entrance um, when you look around the hive. There's some seams and somewhere like on the um, on the copper top nuke where it was uh, not quite sealed up with propolis yet. Uh, it was some seam leakage through the seams, but not a lot. I use a dose and a half because I use my XL frames. So to me, that's a deep and a medium. I use it a dose and a half. Um, anyway, so that's it. That's, that's it. Uh, I probably won't have to show this again. Just know that I'll do this three more times at minimum. Now, somebody's going to say, or may say, did you check for mites? I did in the farmhouse hive and that was the only hive I checked. There was one mite. Um, the copper top nuke, uh, the person I got it from, he's treatment free. So he's never treated. He doesn't treat. Um, and the yellow hive, I just still didn't think there was enough inventory to take 300 bees from them to test. So I just, I was gonna uh, treat anyway. So I treated the copper top nuke, I treated the yellow hive, and I treated the farmhouse. So like I said, round one. I will get to round two and three and four on the appropriate dates. I'm gonna write this down in here and uh, call it a day. And then I will continue to um, assess and feed as needed uh, and get the uh, bees uh, prepared for winter. Believe it or not, it's August and now is the time to prepare your colonies for winter. Uh, if you want a good survival rate, you wanna have your mites in check and you wanna make sure that they have enough uh, stores, enough food. My water station still runs until 7.30 yeah, 7.30, my water station runs from 7.30 a.m. until 7.30 p.m. However, there is salt water available 24 hours a day, uh, which the bees don't fly at night, so that doesn't matter for them. Um, yeah, so that's it. I think uh, I'm going to call it a, a day. Well, thank you all for watching. And um, do me a favor, if you got this far, one of the few times I'm going to say it, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Um, you want, especially if they're new, because you want them, new beekeepers, to uh, give their bees the best chance possible to survive winter. 
Uh, last year we had a mild winter, which is a little bit harder for the bees, I think. They go through more stores. It, it's just, who knows? I just want to do as much as I can to help them out. Some people say bees and trees don't need help. They don't do anything. But bees and trees, we don't take their honey from them. Um, and they may not be the same bees that you see in that same tree year after year after year after year. They may die out and another swarm moves in. Uh, they may abscond. We don't know what happens in those trees, uh, but those bees are left hands off. So that means that we're not pulling the honey. We're not, you know, doing anything. So if you have a hive out in the wild and you don't pull the honey and you just leave it, you know, you just set the box up and leave it, the bees will do what they do. But uh, any managed colony here, and I know here in Virginia, you have to uh, be able to remove the frames and inspect them. So that's why bees and trees are not the same comparably to bees and boxes. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned. I got some more stuff coming up. I still have to finish my uh, long hive or, or, or get the boxes all straight. See what I'm going to do with that. And then I got other Mini Cooper projects around. So, and, and, and boat stuff too for Sharon. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank y'all for watching and uh, have fun with your bees, especially when you're planning for winter in the middle of summer. Bye y'all.